All righty, we've checked in with everybody and they've all found out about the incident. And now it's time to see what Rayleigh's plan is for Luffy, if Luffy chooses to accept. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We're on 508 and 509 of our One Piece watch through today. And the last episode ended with a very heartfelt, a, a, I guess, heart shattering yell from Usopp. Going for Luffy, knowing how much pain he's probably in. I mean, he was in so much pain, we went through a 10 episode flashback or so. But it's just the fact that they can't be there for him, with him, to just, you know, comfort him. But I think Luffy's kind of been vitalized by both Rayleigh, Jimbe, a bunch of people's words in that he still has those people with him. They're just not physically here right now. We're going to hop right into these. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and let's get started. Hmm. What did bro tell him? Luffy looks so small next to Boa. <laughs> oh, wait, even Jimbei disagrees? I'm shocked. Yeah, they're going to want to try to get to him as fast as possible. I'm guessing he just wants to either train Luffy or have Luffy train. And, like, Jimbei disagrees, saying that, like, he needs to just rest and kind of recoup. Do we get to hear the first at least already? We're just going to tell them both suggestions and we don't get to hear either. Well, back to Nami. But there, yeah. Such a beautiful name. Are the wizards out for their morning jog? Look at them go. Oh, wait, there's so many. Did you just hear the news? She tried to leave. She was like, I ain't waiting for this to be above Sabaody. How do you even try to leave? Oh my God. Also, the air pressure that high up has to be insane. Like breathing? That's like Colorado. Oh, she just went down. And they stopped her, I guess, from stealing the vehicle. How did they stop her? Oh, because it was too heavy. Dang, Nami was not wasting any time getting back to Sabaody. Oh, did they have to, like, save her? Yeah, the bag's too heavy. How did she not perish? And what was that shot? Oda! I know that wasn't in the manga, was it? <laughs> Bro runs like shaggy. Oh, Nami. <laughs> it's... It, never mind. Surely it's nothing huge. There's so many of them. Wait! They have a police force? This is jail? Bubble jail! I like how they all have the same outfit, just different, like, colors and patterns and stuff. It's cute. Haradas. I'm guessing that's the one that took her in. We don't know. You're crazed. How often do they have to a sentence of flooding or what? How often do they have to use the jail here? Like, do people break the rules that often? Like, they're all gathered around like it's like a, a, a very rare occurrence. Why is that all he says? <laughs> Again. Oh, just like whenever she first got there. Why was he showing that to her? And how did... Did she punch him? Through the bubble! Oh my gosh, she killed him! <laughs> Run panics! Is that, like, actually just a bubble? Is that how she punched through? Oh, she just took a ton of research and stuff? Like a book? <laughs> At least she claims it. With all their squeaky shoes. If she's trying to leave, wouldn't they wouldn't they be fine with that? It was just a messy exit. Oh my god, they're getting more sporadic. <laughs> Hot rookie with a straw hat. That's my captain. Man, I know she feels guilty for not being there, but... I don't know, it's so, like, out of, like, crazy circumstances. Like, even ending up here. Like, I don't think they even, uh, all the straw hats even still really understand Kuma and everything because we have the full picture with Kuma and how, like, he's not completely for the Navy. Like, it, it wasn't just randomness that she ended up here. Is she just gonna try to book it again? She's taking him with her! She's like, you're gonna man this! There's no way she ran that fast. She's taking him hostage. Oh. 
My God. <laughs> See, just Haradas is like kind of renowned here too. Like they look up to him. Science of weather. So they know more than most. I'm. I mean, it makes sense they would, but it seems like they want it to stay sort of secret. He's strong. I guess because Luffy was there like at her lowest in our long and she wants, yeah, to return the favor. Oh. <laughs> he's just kind of accepted that she's carrying him. Well, like I said, they don't know like everything about Kuma and... Uh... Oh, are we going to Frankie? Please, man. And how, uh, how they ended up. Here. I mean, they could probably make educated guesses about how his power worked. The genius Vegapunk was born. That's why I'm most curious about Frankie. It's not because Frankie's like one of my favorites, but just because like I feel like there's so much lore here to be discovered. Working on a gun? God? His name's Kitten? Kiton? He's like a demon. What did you put in him? Oh, just him finding out. Yeah. No, it's just it's just pure friendship powering him now. What happened if you put habanero juice in, in Frankie? Nah, it's just cola, baby. He just needs to go to him. His captain. Do they have ships here? I was gonna say, yeah, you might have to build one, bud. Ah, Navy ships that come irregularly. Interesting. You're gonna have to wait at least a month. Yeah. Why would Navy ships come here, though? Yeah, it's surrounded by thick ice. What business? I guess there's business to, like, just make sure everything's in order. Make sure nobody's misbehaving. Frankie, I've seen you build ships, man. You could build a very small one in, like, a day. Ah, tea time! Oh no, they're turning him into Gentleman Frankie again. Good smell. Flavor. Flavor. Ah, this is nice. <laughs> Bro, just flip the table. Good smell. Flavor. Feels like just yesterday he joined the crew. This Rose, this old man got a dome. Did he just come up with something? Icebreaker. Hmm. What, to start chipping through? I want to go. I want to see. Again. <laughs> I like how they both confessed. Like I said, though, Frankie could build a ship if he wanted to. I mean, I guess he doesn't have unlimited access to tools and whatnot. I saw this man build a bridge on Thriller Bark like it was Minecraft. Security. Oh, no. But he set off every alarm. Wait, who's alerted by it? Oh, shoot! Surrounded by priceless treasures? Oh, they have an entire Navy base here. Look at his trip! Oh my gosh, this went zero to 100. Dog, they got the snake after him. What, he doesn't want to, like, incriminate himself further by shooting? No, he worked for the Navy. We feel proud. But there's so much just mystery surrounding him. Where he grew up. Don't tell me he, like, formed the mountain or something, right? built it. I mean, when he was a kid? Help the people in this country from the cold? How does that help? Why did he never finish? What? That is insane. He did that as a child? Oh my gosh. Wait, just... So why did he why doesn't he come back and finish? If it meant that much to him. <laughs> I mean Vegapunk seems like an okay guy, but I just kind of assume the worst with anybody that works for or with the Navy. With the self-destruct button. They said there's priceless treasure in there too. <laughs> the most unwanted button. 
Why do I have a feeling he's gonna push it? But it's gonna happen on accident or something. The most unwanted button in the world. If they have such priceless treasure here, I wonder why they leave it. Yeah, so Vegapunk here is seen as like, uh, he's like their hero, even though he's not even here anymore. It's just like what they're known for is where he's from. A blueprint is priceless. God dang, dude. Why do they leave it here? Why did he leave it here? When they call it his house, does he come ever? It kind of seemed like abandoned the way it was boarded up. Oh my God, there are so many blueprints. Was that an airship? There's so many. Wow. Yeah, like this is perfect for Frankie. This is probably like a, a candy shop. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's the self-destruct. It's instant! There's no countdown! Oh my god! What the f No, no, this is like this is like a joke or something. No. It's like a cutaway gag. Frankie, there's no way! There's no way! Dog, for how slowly things happen in One Piece sometimes, leave it up to them for a self-destruct button to not have a countdown or anything, but to explode, destroy the island, show people's reactions, and then do a cutaway saying it will it's known as an incident, as the Baltimore's nightmare, within like 10 seconds. Oh, I cannot take this man anywhere. Is he okay? Episode 509. Back to Zoro. Wait, is this post? Mihawk? Come here. Buggy Kingdom. Yeah, it just makes sense that it's Mihawk's house. It really does. It's the vibes. Moria is not dead. If Moria was dead, I would be crying. There's no way. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> In his home. <laughs> you guys are just staying in my house. Yes! You're saying there's a chance, baby! Gecko the goat is alive! At least in my memory. Let's go! Oh my gosh. I'm so hype. I'm back, baby. Ace, it's fine. It, everything's fine now. My spirits are raised. Says you. I'm actually shocked he doesn't stand a chance against the apes, but I mean, this is Mihawk's place. So I imagine they have some connection to him. It's a big combo. Because of the news, man. Yeah, and it lasted like two days, man. Less than a day. Even he doesn't have all the answers. Yeah. He's just gonna try and dip. He'll swim like Rayleigh. Oh, shoot. Actually letting him, like, take a boat. Holy. He hocked a goat. I'm not gonna care about you anymore. I'm shocked she'll admit that she cared about him at some point. I want to know more about this place, though. Like, just the lore behind it. They're not gonna let him leave? There's so many of them, and they also, like, match him. It's kind of impressive. They're huge! That is a really small boat he has, too. This one has three sword style! Is that, like, one of his moves? That is. Mm -hmm. They've learned from him. Incredible. No, the boat. Oh my God, Mihawk is so over her being here. Bro, just trying to read and drink his wine. Yeah, it looks so sick even without the hat. He knows Zoro's willpower and whatnot. It sounds like you do still care about him. There she goes. You can tell yourself whatever you want, Perona. Because Zoro has no interest in cute stuffed animals either. Is, does Zoro have more of a heart than Mihawk? He's like, ah, finally, peace. Oh my god, he's thinking back to that? 
I was in the back. I feel like that was a very early, like, uh, not foreshadowing to, to Whitebeard, but um, very similar theme. Kind of setting the precedent early on. He did not even make it to the shore. That is a good guess, though, yeah. Has he killed, like, any of them? Does he just cut them? They lick their wounds and... Oh. <laughs> yeah, they just take the cuts or cover and then they keep fighting. Oh, what happened? He's come out. <laughs> He's like, it's been like a whole 20 minutes. Human drills. Developed by Intimid... Okay, imitating. Oh. So did they learn to fight from him? Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Did he put up the giant cross? Oh my gosh! Monkey see, monkey do. Create opponents for an arrogant man. Good training. It's crazy that Zoro's here with him and he doesn't care one bit. He's just like, I have to get to Luffy. Like, I'm not saying he should be fanboying or anything, but like, in any other circumstance, it'd be a huge deal to him. It's interesting. We're checking in with everyone again, but like, I feel like it's setting up more for like, uh, what's next or what they can learn while they are stuck wherever they are. Because, I mean, I guess Nami is starting to leave, but some of are just kind of stuck. Chopper's super stuck right now. Robin, I, I think, is really stuck. I mean, isn't she in the middle of the ocean? Back to Brooke. Satan Sama. He's done with his masterpiece! He was writing a song. That's our Satan! It's all just sheet music. I don't know how to read that. A talisman! Exactly! I'm glad you get it, man. Why did he write a song? He knows the like the situation they're in. I mean, he's still playing into the Satan role. His face! It's crazy how much facial expression they can get through with a skeleton. Just putting the sheet music up. Guys, it doesn't make sense out of order. My goodness, these guys are hopeless. They're back. Oh, shoot, no worries. The talismans are up. I like how he just guessed what it was. Just guessed. <laughs> But what's the purpose behind him writing it? What song is it? <laughs> oh no, the Long Arm Tribe. Why has Satan forsaken us? You have music. <laughs> is it like a battle melody? <gasps> yeah, it's like get him like amped up. Oh my god, there's no way. Yeah, their, their arms are long. <laughs> He actually gave them a battle tune. I can't. Yeah, he just wants them to stand up. He doesn't want to have to do everything for them because if he's to leave, they'll just get beat up again. Gotta teach them to fight for themselves. Nice. I mean, there's only three of them. Oh, they win this easy. Works even standing off to the side. That's it! Oh my gosh! They imprisoned them! With no fatalities. I took up arms and fight. Oh. Oh my god. So they lost the fight and then Brooke was just like, I right, and then just beat him up himself. Oh, I can't, man. I can't. Yeah, make sure they're uh, at least try to stand up for themselves instead of cowering. They were before they were just letting whatever happened happen. Thanks, Satan. Oh. I forget where he is, too. Like, where in the ocean. <laughs> Put them on display? Put the, the long arm tribe? True. You gotta show them that they can be better. Oh my gosh! He just played into the role. <laughs> I'll be back! Oh my gosh!
I mean, if you saw a walking, talking skeleton and he said that, I would probably believe him too. Dog, their arms! He's gonna give them a life lesson too? Aww. Doesn't matter if you have one arm joint or two. We're all human. Brother! Oh no, he's light! How did they get a rope around him? They kidnapped Brooke. There's no way they already gave up on him and they're just gonna summon a different Satan. Oh my god, these people are hopeless. Hopeless. Aww. Just sing when you're sad. Dog, where is this line going? Like, I can see somewhat for the others, but this one's just confusing now. I'm getting whiplash from the places we're going. Can I hear either of the two plans? I would love to give my take, but I don't have the full picture, everybody. Oh my god, Jinbei Toes, holy. Can I know what he's deciding? The Sabaody incident. Aware. Dog. Why are we just skirting around it? Go back where? Nani! What? How does any of this make sense? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So, a lot of leads is that whenever we start checking in with a straw hat, it's like a four episode venture. Because, I mean, they're all split up and we have to get some development with all of them. So, we spend like half an episode with each. So, that's why it, it kind of stretches out over the course of it. And, like I said, we're starting to see a lot of progress in some of them. But then others, like Brooke, where, yeah, he kind of taught them to fight for themselves. But, like, where is he going? Why are they taking him? How is he to ever get back if he doesn't even have a clue of where he is? But the most interesting one by far, and it was already the most interesting to me, is Frankie's, how he literally blew up Baltimore. Rose said pirate symbol. I can't, man. I mean, the fact that he blew up Vegapunk's laboratory too, I feel like it's an insane deal. They said priceless treasures, priceless bl blueprints. Vegapunk will probably inevitably hear about this. Well, he won't be happy either, especially because he destroyed the entire thing that was supposed to be like the, the island warming device. But like, I, I don't know where we go from there though, because I feel like Frankie's going to really make a name for himself if people find out that it was him that did it. But also, why was the self-destruct button like absolutely enormous? You guys, this has been episode 508 and 509 number one piece watch through. Do drop us up on the channel if you are new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.